on youtube it's your boy again back at it um it's early in the morning it's like five in the morning i'm getting ready to hit the gym i get a good workout in i'm gonna show you guys that now we'll talk a little bit more later but for now i'll uh, enjoy the workout i'll probably do a voiceover um and then talk to the workout talk a little bit and then after that uh we'll get to the day i hope you guys have a good one and i'll uh, see you later peace All right, guys, so i um, about to get it in, do some work. Today's going to be a good day as far as uh, the gym goes, upper body. I'm going to be doing a little bit of chest, a little bit of back, and a little bit of shoulders. I've been starting this new workout program, uh, Fitter, Faster, Stronger, um, from Jim Stompini. Uh, I use the app as far as uh, getting the training plan. Uh, it's a 12-week cycle workout plan, and um, hopefully I get some results from it. We'll see. Um, I have to obviously do PT and whatnot. Uh, PT is physical training in the Army. So I work out there, but I don't count that as far as my workout goes when it comes to my overall fitness. That's just extra, extra calorie burn and whatnot. Uh, it's something that I'm used to because my body uh, has grown accustomed to it over the years. Doing PT pretty much every day for the last however long, 15 years I've been in the military. It has uh, definitely been a place where I um I just get it in. So you can see I'm working here with a 185, so that's a 45 on each side. And the 25 after that, um, just good, good first kind of working set. I'm using higher reps now than I did before, so pretty good. Uh, not heavy, not too light, but uh, keep it in that 8 to 10 rep range and trying to get it done. So now I'm gonna add 225 on the bar. Uh, 245 pound plates on each side and then go for another 8 to 10 reps this should be a good working set 225 is not hard for me not heavy for me it's actually a good working set uh, I've been deloading a little bit as far as uh, doing less weight kind of trying to get higher reps I'm mostly a power lifter but here recently I've been doing more high reps I'm right into this next working set of 225 should be pretty easy should go up pretty easy as you guys see, I don't really have a problem with 225. It's pretty easy weight. I am a little bit tired. My body is a little bit sore. I only got a little bit of sleep last night. Only about three and a half to four hours, but the work still got to get done. Your boy's got to make sure he's getting in some good work and doing what has to be done to make sure that I can still move efficiently and whatnot. No excuses. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you get to make excuses and not put in the work. The work still has got to get done regardless of whether you're tired or not. Like I was saying, it doesn't matter whether you're tired or not, the work still got to get done. As you can see here, um, I'm using 85 pound dumbbells, a uh, good working set, about 10 reps each. Just getting in some good volume, some good blood to the muscles to make sure that I'm good to go. I'm going to move up about 10 pounds here to 95s. I stuck at the 95s for both sets. I did only three sets of this here, three sets of the dumbbell bench press. I probably could have used better form and less weight. So all you uh, critics out there, you form Nazis, uh, leave me alone. Um, I know I probably could have used less weight more, but I want to lift some heavy weight. Like I said, I like to lift heavier weights. It makes me feel better. It gets a little bit more, a little bit more of a pump for me if I use heavy weights, higher reps. Uh, I'm not worried about form. I'm worried about looking good and trying to be the best version of myself. That's my overall goal. All right, so the next part of the workout here, I'm gonna go to back. I'm doing a little warm-up set here with two plates. Um, I'm going to be doing some uh, bent rows, um, kind of cut my head off in the shot there, but you can still see uh, me doing some, uh, some of the uh, rows there in the corner, <clears throat> making sure that we're good to go. I'm just putting in a little bit of work. I'm going to be adding some more, adding another plate, going to get another uh, 8 to 10 reps in, making sure I'm good to go. I did three sets of this as well, maybe four. Uh, we'll see. I did... Uh, some good rows I, I don't normally do these kind of workouts normally I'm just a squat bench deadlift kind of guy but I decided to change it up a little bit so I can um, change up my workouts just something that's different for my body kind of shocked the way my body is going kind of add some different stress on the body so that I can grow a little bit more so I've been adding a lot more accessory work uh, to my workouts with this new program that I've been doing um, and I kind of like it I kind of like how it is uh, I'm not at the point where I'm hitting muscle failure every time I go into the gym as you can see here, I moved over to the lat pull-down machine just to get some good work in as well. 
moving the weight a little bit fast. I might could have slowed it down a little bit, but like I said, you farm Nazis that are out there, I'm sure you can tell me what I did wrong. Here comes my second set for uh, the lap pull downs. I actually had a little cameraman here uh, do the pan shot. I was pretty good to go. If I can get more people to help record for me, then I can get better angles and whatnot. But until then, kind of stuck with what we got. Now for the last set, I tried to get that lower angle, got the back arch, and I'm, sure I'm pulling the weight down towards the lower part of my chest. And that, um, just getting that work in, getting that angle in, making sure that I'm keeping that tension on the muscle. Um, getting a pretty good weight. I like to pull it in. I like doing regular pull-ups, so I did some of those as well, but I didn't get to record them. Now we moved on to shoulders, a little bit of overhead press. Uh, when it comes to shoulders, make sure that you're adequately warmed up. At this point, I had already done bench press and done some back, so I was pretty warm as far as the way my shoulders and my rotator cuffs are. You don't want to get a shoulder injury trying to um, do too much weight at a time. Right here, this is only 135, so um, I stuck with this weight. It's not too difficult of a weight, but I wanted to make sure I stayed within an 8 to 10 rep range, so I didn't want to go too high. I can definitely probably overhead press a little bit more weight than that, but um, the 135 was good enough for me to get into that work. And I did cardio before I did this, so I wanted to make sure that, uh, yeah, I didn't want to hurt myself or do too much as far as that, that work. So I did three sets of, uh, I think, 10 at 135 for all three sets. And I moved on here now to the shrugs. Right here, I have two plates on each side. Um, I don't normally do shrugs because I, I kind of strain my neck. And so like when I do that, it causes more tension in my neck and my muscles. But I decided to do them anyway as part of the workout program. Here I got three plates on each side, I'm three 45 pound plates. Still, I stay within that 10 to 15 rep range, trying to get some good work into the muscle. And then I did another good set with the three plates on each side. Hope you guys enjoyed this portion of my, my video, my workout. Um, if you'd like to see some other things or you want me to talk about a little bit more, then just let me know. Big D back here again for another Motivated Monday. Uh, just got done with a good workout this morning. Um, I did. I got a good run in, and then um, went and did a little bit of upper body workout. A new program I'm doing. It's the Fitter, Faster, Leaner workout. Uh, Jim Stampini. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm on my way home right now. Get the kids, get ready to go to school. Uh, today's a special day. My two. I have two of my kids that are, have their birthdays today. Uh, Olivia is going to be turning eight, and CJ turns five today. So um, it should be a fun day. Uh, I do have to go to work for a little bit, but I'm taking you guys throughout my day, see what's going on, and then um, hopefully we get to see a little birthday party later, a little cake action, something like that, and then we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, uh, peace. Yeah. Tune in. Uh, today is a special day. We got Olivia and CJ's birthdays today. Olivia is going to be eight or turned eight today, and CJ turned five today. Say happy birthday, guys. It is your birthday. And we got Victoria right here. Dab on him. I already passed already. No. Oh, yeah. Victoria's birthday was a couple weeks ago. Uh, November 26th. She turned 10. The big one zero. Double digits. Uh, which is a good thing. Um, except, what? Except what? In, in six more years when I get a car. Trying to grow up too fast. If she only knew. I wish I was 10 again. Um, guys, I'm back. Um, driving to work now. I'm having a little apple. Anyway, so a little bit about myself. I'm a staff sergeant, United States Army. For those who don't know, I'm a military police soldier. Um, I've been in the military altogether 15 years. I was um, in the Marine Corps for four years. Got out, and I've been in the Army 11 years. So, yeah. I'm stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Um, it's borderline between Tennessee and Kentucky. About an, 45 minutes to an hour north of Nashville uh, based on like traffic and whatnot. Um, I'm kind of lucky here. I've been here almost a year. I've been stationed in a lot of places. I was at Fort Lewis, my first duty station in the Army. Uh, my whole time in the Marine Corps, I was stationed at 29 Palms, California, um, in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Which was a good time though. Uh, I enjoyed my time there. I look back on those memories as uh, good memories for the most part. Uh, I got to travel a lot, see a lot of different things, and do a lot of different things. So uh, and that now, was definitely a good time for me. Uh, like I said, I've been in the Army. I got to Fort Lewis. Um, I was there for a few years, 2007 uh, ish to 2000. Yeah, I got there beginning of 2007. I left there at the end of 2009, so almost three years. I did it at Fort Lewis, and then we went to Brussels, Belgium. I lived there for several years. I uh, did protective services there at the NATO headquarters. And then after that, we uh, I got selected for drill sergeant duty. 
and I had to go to Fort Leonard Wood. I spent a lot of time at Fort Leonard Wood. Four years I was at Fort Leonard Wood, a little bit over four years um, stationed there. I was a drill sergeant there uh, and an instructor after that. And then last year, like I said, I came to Fort Campbell. Um, Fort Campbell's a good a good place, home of the 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault. Uh, I am also Air Assault qualified. And the other badge is my combat action badge, but that's for another time to talk about. And my drill sergeant badge rank, obviously. Uh, and then my unit patch. Uh, this is 42nd from when I deployed at Fort Lewis there. Um, yeah, today's been a pretty good day. Um, I probably showed you guys my workout already at this point in the video. So um, I'm going to go to work now. Uh, I had a doctor's appointment earlier. Um, not too bad. I just didn't want to take you guys to the doctor's, doctor's appointment with me. But I'm going to go to the to my office and uh, see what the day holds. Uh, I don't have too much on my schedule as far as uh, things that I have to do as far as work. I'm going to come back and pick my son up here in a little bit. And uh, since today is his birthday, took him out to lunch. And uh, he, he, he really likes that. He's my favorite person. If you don't know, my son's my favorite person. Uh, I try not to be biased as far as like my other kids. But uh, he's my only boy, so I, 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 he is my favorite person. Um, he loves me unconditionally, and I love him too. And this past week, though, I've had already three birthdays. So I have two more. These are the last two birthdays for the year. Um, Victoria, she's my second kid. She was born November 26th. She just turned 10. My wife, his birthday was November 29th. And uh, my oldest kid, uh, Takara, her birthday was November 30th. She just turned 15. So, and then, like I said, CJ and Olivia are today. Olivia uh, is eight and CJ is five. So that's a lot of birthdays back to back to back. And we have Christmas right around the corner. So it's an uh, arduous time, as you can assume. Uh, but hey, we make it work. <laughs> I don't have everything that we want, but we are pretty blessed um, to have the things that we do have. I know I say that while I'm driving a Range Rover, but it's just a car. Don't 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 misinterpret that. I don't really I don't really um I'm not as materialistic now as I used to be. I definitely grew out of that phase in my life. Um, but I used to be a lot more materialistic, but now I'm not. Um, I still have driving Range Rover, but as long as you have a car that gets you from here to there. That's all that matters, because there's somebody out there that uh, definitely has it worse off than you do, and they wouldn't be complaining about the situation that you're in or complaining about. Um, I went home for lunch and crashed, man. I took a nap and uh, just woke up. Um, I'm going to be a few minutes late back to work, but um, it was a good nap, well needed. I didn't get much sleep last night, like I said earlier, and uh, yeah, I, I needed that nap pretty good. Um, I'm going to go back, check some emails. Um, I got to do a little bit of work, write some reports and whatnot. And then after that, I'll be uh, able to go back to uh, go back home. We're going to go out for dinner for the kids tonight. It's warm, man. I don't know where you guys are, but here in East Western Kentucky, um, it's definitely warm. Uh, it's 70 degrees today, and that's ridiculous. Today is December 4th. Uh, it to be 70 degrees today is just a little bit crazy to me. Um, I don't know why it's so warm. I think tomorrow, though, it's supposed to get back cold again. I guess I shouldn't complain because I'd rather it be cold and hot. But at the same time, it's unseasonably warm right now. Uh, this time last year, I was at a, in the air assault school. And in air assault school, uh, this time last year, it was freezing, raining, cold. Um, if it could have been like this last year, I would have been a little bit better. I mean, I mean, I made it anyway. But I would have been a lot better if I didn't have to worry about being cold. Um, she's at, uh, she had practice today, uh, volleyball, cheerleading practice. I'm getting ready for basketball season. Um, I'm going to get home, and we're going to go out to eat, take the younger kids uh, shopping for their birthday, and then um, get some dinner, and then call it a night, sing happy birthday. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Sorry I couldn't show you guys as much as I'd like to, but I hope you guys get a good gist of uh, what I did. Uh, my office was kind of boring. That's why I didn't record. Um, it was actually really boring. I didn't really do much at all, but search on the internet. And I bought my son um, a gaming console on Amazon. And then I um, bought him a couple action figures and stuff for Christmas. Um, yeah. I might take you guys. Don't forget to like my video. Comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know that you're watching. So that way um, I can tell me. Hey, ask me some questions. Hey, if there's something you guys would like to know, then um, ask me some questions and then we'll get to it. All right, guys. So I'm in my video here. Uh, I'm not going to take you guys out to dinner with me. Um, enjoy this time with my family. Um, but it will be more videos. Be on the lookout for more videos coming soon. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, give me some feedback on the comments. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Uh, some things that you might want to know about the Army. Uh, I was a drill sergeant, so I've seen a lot of videos out there where people were privates and they were giving their perception of what the Army was like. But um, I can give you a different perspective being an NCO and whatnot and uh, also being a drill sergeant. So if you have questions about boot camp or basic, I maybe can answer some of those things. Uh, again, um, let me know. Hey, do whatever it takes every day in order to get to your goals. Get to greatness. Mm -hmm.